My name is Sarah, and I'm here to help you set up your photography business in QuickBooks. So I just opened up QuickBooks, and I am going to go to File, and New Company. Here it's going to ask me what I want to call my company. So for this, I'm just going to do Photography. You can put the name of your company. Then you can put your name and your address, company start date, which I'm going to assume is the beginning of this year, and the income tax form. Most of you will probably be sole proprietors, which means you just record it on your normal tax return. So I'm going to select that. Then hit next. It's asking what type of business you have. There isn't one for photography, but I think general service-based business is the closest. It brings up a list of accounts that they think you might want to use. If there's a check mark to the left, you say that you think you might use it. So I'm going to go through here. You probably will have equipment because you'll have your camera and other lenses. You'll have sales. So just go through and think about what you might want to do. You can always delete these later or add more. Then you hit finish. It says it's been created, so I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm using a trial version because that's all I have right now. So I'm going to hit continue. Now it's wanting to give me all these videos, which you can look through. That's wonderful, but I'm going to stop it for now. And I'm going to make this bigger. So we just created a chart of accounts. If you go to this left bar and hit accounts, it now has everything that we had checked. It's wanting to give me all of these little pop-up windows, but for me, those are more annoying. So I'm gonna go to help and check, uncheck the enable guide me. That'll turn those off. One thing it didn't create is a cash account, which all of you will have. So I'm going to go down to this little plus button and click on plus. It's going to be a bank account. Then on this, name it whatever you want. I'm going to say Bank of America. And then description, bank number, things like that if you want. And then down here, this is important, you want to put the opening balance. Now for reconciliation purposes later, the easiest thing I find is to put the bank balance that the bank said you had at the end of your last bank statement. Then we'll go ahead later and enter the checks that haven't cleared yet. So go ahead and type that. Let's say that there's $500 in there at the end of December. Then we'll hit OK. Now you can go through and add any other assets that you had. Um, I think that I'm just going to move these around. But furniture and equipment, maybe that's your camera or your lenses. You can either put it here, go down to this little pencil with just an edit and type in how much you had at the beginning of the year. Or if you want to list them out separately so you can keep track easier, you can add here. Say it's a fixed asset. A fixed asset is something that you buy that's going to benefit your business over multiple years. So for a photographer, that would be your camera, your lenses, anything like that. Fixed asset. And I'm going to say Canon and say that was a thousand dollar lens and hit OK and you can add any other assets um, or bank accounts or anything else that you want. That gets us the beginning balances. One more thing I want to do in the initial setup is if you go to check register later on we'll be needing the check register to enter checks that we write and such. If we go here it doesn't know which cash account we want to use. So if you hover over this check register, it'll bring up the list, which we only have one. So I'm going to select that. Now, whenever I want to go into my check register, it'll automatically know which one I want. So that is it for your basic setup. 